Hey, hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract, transform and load Amazon Kinesis data stream to Amazon S3 bucket with using AWS Lambda. As you see in this PPT, this PPT will depict my demo. So the solution is here like this. So we're going to use Amazon Kinesis data stream for streaming the data, which eventually invokes the AWS Lambda. And the Lambda has a logic which will extract the data from the event or from the data stream and then finally convert those data stream into uh, decoded uh, uh, you know the data and then eventually you know we will gonna load that data into the amazon s3 bucket in the form of a raw data from there you know you can use it for uh, uh, basically visualizing the data or or you know doing the any kind of further engineering could be done on that amazon s3 bucket data yeah so here I'm going to use uh, a tool called KDZ that is, uh, you know, the Amazon Kinesis data stream uh, generator. So that is a, a tool which is AWS gives us to, you know, to, to, to stream the data, to actually stream the data into Amazon Kinesis uh, data stream, right? And eventually we achieve the scenario which I have designed it here, right? So with, that, with this note, what I do is I'm going to take you to the my AWS account. So this is my AWS account. I have opened multiple tabs here and each tabs belongs to one one service currently i'm in oregon region that's where my you know this etl solution is been set up so here uh, currently we are in a stack so i'm going to show you so how we can use um, you know the aws given stack to deploy kdz tool okay so the kdz tool is a kinesis data stream you know data stream generator tool which i'm going to show you and we are using this tool to generate some some you know some random data into the amazon kinesis data stream and eventually we are using that uh, stream to invoke our aws lambda which i have kept in another another tab basically so this is the lambda which i have created called test functions and this lambda will going to stream the data into a bucket called my kinesis etl bucket yeah so basically remember that you know all these tabs are belongs to one one service including cloud formation amazon kinesis stream lambda and finally the you know amazon s3 bucket yeah so here before i start with the you know the configuration of these etl uh, solution i'm going to show you how did i set kdz solution in my aws account which is eventually helping me uh, to stream the data so okay so i'll just say um, go to the google and find out for kdz right kdz tool so whatever you see right so basically um, you know uh, test your streaming data solution so there are multiple blocks available on the internet in regards to the KDZ. So here you can go for Amazon Kinesis data stream generator option, which is uh, basically looks like this. Yeah. So here, if you can, um, basically, this is how the, actually the tool looks like. And here, you know, it's going to allow you to log in uh, into this uh, KDZ solution with using, you know, um, uh, with using the AWS uh, um, uh, Cognito users options. Okay. So here, if you click on the help button, it will eventually take you to this page. So here there is an option called create a cognitive user with the cloud formation template. So you just click on this one, which, which eventually takes you to a cloud formation uh, template deployment option. So here this is let the option be like this and here click on next and here, you know, so in the parameters, cognitive user for KDJ, you know, you need to give the names like this. That is something say test one and uh, test one two three something so you need to give the password which is uh, belongs to uh, you know the cognitive user and the password just click on next yeah and then keep the rest all options default click on next and then finally you know um, uh, finally click on submit by accepting the the acknowledgement yeah so eventually so this stack deployment will create the solutions that is kdj solution in my so in my aws account so I have did the same step which I showed you just now earlier and eventually it has created me so many resources in my AWS account which includes IAM role, Lambda function, I know then, then it has a custom uh, Lambda that is custom invocation Lambda as well, secret manager, IAM S3 bucket, yeah, so so many things. And uh, after, after the stack has been deployed, go to the output option, there you can see the KDJ URL. So click on this KDJ URL which will eventually take us to the uh, to login page. So this is the login page where you will be putting the, you know, the cognitive user and password that you created, you used to you, you used during deployment of uh, you know, this KDJ solution. So why I'm doing this one is because since 
my demo here is to mimic the etl operation that is uh, somebody is you know pushing the data into the say like amazon uh, kinesis data stream right and eventually you know we need to achieve this scenario scenario right so here i don't have any application which will publish the you know the the data stream into this amazon kinesis data stream but i'm you know artificially i'm creating an application which will generally you know, generally publishes those uh, data stream here and eventually invokes our etl pipeline and finally we're going to realize that you know the data has been extracted and loaded in amazon s3 bucket so now um, i have showed you like how did i set up the you know the kdz uh, tool right and uh, once the uh, kdz tool has been set up you can go to the next option that is go to the amazon kinesis so once you go to the amazon kinesis there will be option called create a data stream click on that just give the your data stream name something like this say like uh, select like test one two three something yeah and then choose option provisioned and uh, change the provision shards according to your requirement and click on a create data stream so it eventually creates a data stream something like i have already created right so our data stream is also ready right so if i go back to the diagram here so we are here now so we are done with the kdz tool we are done with the amazon kinesis data stream uh, instance then we go to the lambda and finally we see you know what did i write in the aws lambda how did I configure the AWS Lambda so that you know the Kinesis uh, stream data stream invokes this Lambda, which eventually you know uh, creates a multiple instances of the Lambda, and finally each instance will be loading a data into Amazon S3 bucket. Yeah, so that is how the process is. So let's say that you know you have created uh, an Amazon Kinesis, yeah, and then you're gonna create a AWS Lambda functions something like this. So here I have created uh you know Python 3.9 Lambda function, which in which I have written the logic to extract the data out of the kinesis data stream and put it into the amazon you know s3 bucket so let's see how did i do that so basically once the lambda is been created we you need to configure certain uh, things here that is a trigger so you need to configure the trigger option so here as you see i have created uh, the kinesis data stream as the trigger point for this aws lambda so how did i do is click on add trigger button in the source select the kinesis yeah and here you're gonna choose your kinesis so basically this is what we created right away and then in the active triggers you know uh, you need to configure maintain the batch size so what is this batch in the sense uh, amazon kinesis data stream produces you know huge list of data right which is that's the reason we call it as a data stream so out of that you know huge list of data stream this lambda gets invoked you know invoked by a batch of data in the sense it will invoked by a set of 100 you know 100 uh, uh, data streams out of the you know the kinesis data so in the sense out of thousand data in that one it will the lambda gets invoked by 100 100 batch of the data in one shot yeah so that is what batch size is telling so here we have set the batch equal to 100 in our case yeah so but for example say in the production side or from your side you could change the value eventually click on add button it will take you to the configuration which is set something like this so what does this mean in the sense you are making amazon kinesis data stream as the source of invocation to this lambda right so that is what we want in the sense an application is pushing the uh, the data stream into the amazon kinesis and the kinesis you know they actually pushing those data again or triggering those you know using those events and triggering the aws lambda right and then uh, in the permissions so you need to give uh, a permissions you know so basically since this lambda is doing an upload option uh, into the my uh, basically into the s3 bucket so you need to have the permissions to load the data into the into the s3 bucket so here i have used uh, etl lambda access role which is actually basically admin privilege with a certain uh, you know so basically this lambda could be assumed by aws uh, this role could be assumed by aws uh, you know uh, some services if i go to this uh, im role so if i go to the trust one so i have added so many services as a trusted by this uh, role which includes amazon you know the lambda as well lambda.amazonaws.com yeah so that's all about the permissions configuration as well now we go to the code and see you know how did i write the piece of code which actually reads the stream data from the kinesis converts into the or, or basically transform that data into the readable form creates a json file and uploads into the amazon s3 bucket let's see how did i do that so if i so in this space i you know basically i'm going to walk you through the code here we are actually in this code we are actually importing the multiple libraries one is json base64 because note that 
Amazon Kinesis data stream will be in an encoded form that is base64 encoded form. You need to decode those messages and uh, get the decoded message right? and finally convert that message into a JSON form and finally we're going to upload into the you know the AWS Lambda uh, sorry AWS uh, Amazon S3 bucket yeah and then we have a OS being imported and we have a Boto3 module which is imported. So here I'm using Boto3 APIs of S3 bucket to to you know, to actually load the files. So here I'm setting the client of resource S3 bucket yeah, with using Boto3 module and then I'm keeping the global variable that is uh, S3 bucket yeah because here I have a only single bucket that is Amazon S3 but in your case you might need, you might need to change this according to your logic and then the logic is very simple so here it has it does not has any complex uh, you know the functions but a simple lambda handler function which gets even you know which gets triggered by the kinesis data stream and each data stream will become an event right so if you see the uh, the format of kinesis data stream so you're going to realize that you know it has a certain format and uh, out of that format we have a top level key called records records is nothing but you know it's a list of event that is getting generated in a kinesis data stream so for each records what i'm doing is i'm just getting the extracting the the real time data out of the you know the kinesis uh, kinesis data stream yeah and then here we are using the base64 model of the python and then invoking a function called base64 decode function where the input of that function would be the you know base64 encoded message which is coming from the stream right and that's what i'm i'm, I'm telling like record uh, in that one get the kinesis dictionary from the get kinesis dictionary get the value of the key called data which is actually uh, you know so this message is actually called as a the encoded format of the message from the kinesis data stream we are using this one to just to decode it in the sense the decoded byte stream will be here and then with using that simple string bytes we are actually decoding in the form of ascii characters that is uh, yeah so this is how it is finally this data is nothing but you know it's actually uh, a real time you know the decoded message which came from kinesis data stream finally i'm just doing a print messages yeah now we you have a message what you have to do is you have to convert that message into a json file and upload the json file into s3 bucket so how did i do that so that's where the next uh, la uh, the lines of code tells all about that is the s3 file name so i'm just dynamically generating the s3 file name by reusing the data present in the kinesis uh, uh, you know the kinesis uh, dictionary underneath the kinesis dictionary you see you will see a sequence number which is a unique number and i'm, I'm reusing that to just to give the my file name and that's where my file name is been constructed that is uh, kinesis sequence number dot json is a my my file name i'm going to show you how does it looks and then finally we are constructing the file name here uh, then in the since it is a running in the aws lambda we are actually creating a local file within the lambda that is uh, in the temp folder that is temp forward slash the file name and then we are using the basically this will become a local path and we are using the you know open function just to load the data in the form of a json so basically it will create in the sense whatever the data that is decoded will be loaded in the in the file in the local file path something like this yeah so these are the two lines in the in the python piece code which is actually doing the job and find the after that you know basically i'm doing the upload to the s3 bucket so how did i do we are using the boto3 client here then using the meta client and, and say invoking a function called upload file this is the local path of the file which is nothing but aws lambda file only i mean in the sense in the sense uh, the local directory of aws lambda and in that this is the bucket name which we declared as a global variable and this is the file name in the sense that this is like a, you know the uh, directory plus file name in the s3 bucket right so i'm just keeping directly underneath the s3 bucket i'm not creating any folder here since it is a demo yeah and finally remember that i'm doing os remove of local path in the sense which actually deletes the file which is being created within the aws lambda so why i'm doing this so just to avoid the memory consumption from the aws lambda all right so that's all about the function yeah now let me take you to the s3 bucket so this is my s3 bucket if i go to the s3 bucket so here you go so these files are being loaded here like this yeah so what i do is i'm gonna just to now now time has come to just to do a demo of uh, the end-to-end -end process so here i'm gonna empty this as of now by removing the by running this command that is uh, permanently deleting the files yeah i'm just doing that so basically 
I have uh, deleted the content of the uh, S3 bucket. Now the bucket is completely empty. What I do is now I will go back to the KDZ uh, tool and I will log in. So when I creating the KDZ tool, I given the user ID and password. So the user ID is something like this. I'm going to enter it now. In your case, the user ID and password would be different. Yeah, remember that. So I've just logged into that uh, tool that is KDZ tool. If I go back to the KDJ tool, so this is how the KDJ tool looks like. Yeah. So we are here now. So in the sense, we are here invoking the KDJ. Then the streamline process should happen. And finally, we should see the JSON file getting uploaded into the Amazon S3 bucket with the right format of data in it. Now, if you go to the region, so you need to choose the region where you have set the Kinesis data stream. Here, the Oregon region. So we're going to choose US West too. And it should automatically find out the stream being being present in there. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm setting that. And in the records per second, you know, just keep it uh, very minimum. And let me keep it like 100 per second, which is too much. But, but, but yeah, but yeah, let me keep it because let's see, you know, we can test the maximum cases. And then in the record template, I have just got this record template from the internet only. So what does basically it, it, it actually means is it creates an event in the Kinesis stream with the column name like sensor id current temperature status so basically it creates a record of three columns and values being generated by this kdz automatically yeah all right so this format will also be shared in video's description you can find the the lambda code plus this format in the my github repositories link and the link is been set in this video's description you can find it from there now I will just hit send data so that it will send the batch of 100, 100 records. Yeah. So I will just stop for now because it has already created 500 records. Right. So by this time, what happened is basically this KDJ published the 500 events into the Kinesis stream. And we have made Kinesis stream to invoke the AWS Lambda. And AWS Lambda has a logic to process this, this data, which is actually transforms the data and then also loads the data into the Amazon S3 bucket. So what I do is I'm not going to see directly into the S3 bucket. Let's go to the monitor. That is my CloudWatch logs. And we're going to see if the logs are being generated, which means that you know the Lambda has been invoked. So if I open the current time, so I'm just going to refresh it. We should see some records getting generated. So if I go here, all right. So it looks like it has invoked. You see the time that is uh, 1359. This is 1359. And it clearly tells that you know it has extracted the decoded the data, created a file and uploaded it into S3 bucket. If we refresh it, here you go. So the nearby 74 objects have been created into this one. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm just gonna show you that you know the file is as expected. The data has been uploaded into this uh, actually, you know, according to the whatever we have, you know, whatever the KDZ has generated. So if I open this, here you go. It says you know the sensor ID current temperature and the status okay so likewise we have 74 files are being created as of now yeah all right so which means that you know what we have done is we have actually loaded the data present in amazon kinesis data stream into the aws lambda and then finally uploaded into amazon s3 bucket yeah all right so with that note i have successfully shown you the things need to be shown in this video Finally, I can't request please to subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot. So with that note, thank you. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.